Hi, my name is Josh McLean. I'm a member of the Airtime Pro support team, and I wanted to show you the changes that the team has made to the Airtime Pro UI and some changes to workflow that you'll be seeing when you log in. One of the first things that you're going to notice upon logging in is that the Now Playing tab is gone. It's been replaced by the Scheduled Shows tab, which you'll find on the right side of the dashboard screen. And anytime you're on the dashboard, you'll be able to tab back to it in case you want to make any changes to the show you have on or some of the shows coming up. The next thing you'll notice is that the Add Media button has been removed. We've replaced it with this Upload button right here. You don't have to hit Start Upload anymore. You can just drag and drop a track and it will start uploading. I'm going to go ahead and cancel this upload so we can move on. Another small change that you might appreciate is you're now able to drag entire folders into the Upload Audio Files window. We've also changed the way you're going to navigate and use the library. Instead of having a single list with your tracks, playlists, smart blocks, and web streams, we've broken them out on the left side of the navigation bar. You can left click on each track to select it, however selecting a new track will deselect the old track, unless you use the checkboxes on the left side. Now to select multiple tracks in sequential order, hold down shift and left click. You can also hold control and click to get the same functionality you got from using the checkbox. Click this checkbox to deselect all tracks. When you navigate to playlists, you'll see all of your playlists in a list in the left window. If you would like to build a new playlist, you just click the new button and you can name it anything you want. We'll name this one Test Playlist. You're able to add tracks to playlist by clicking on them individually and dragging them over as you can see here. Or you can click a track, hold down Shift to select tracks in a sequence, drag them over. Or you can hold Control and click whichever tracks you want and then drag them over. You can also use the checkbox to do the same thing there, but that is how you're going to be adding tracks to shows with the new UI. Your smart blocks and web streams have been broken out as well. If you want to create a new one, click the new button in the top left right here. And one of my favorite features personally is now I can work on more than one thing. So you'll see we have this untitled smart block we're working on and for example we'll remember that we forgot to add our station ID at the top of our last playlist so we'll go ahead and click back we'll drag something over to add it and then we can go back to our smart block and continue working instead of having to navigate back and forth and opening and closing thing uh, the same holds true for the web streams tab you can add a new web stream and it'll be broken out as well and you can change back and forth between all of these things and even go back to scheduled show the radio page button behaves exactly as it does now if you open it up, it will open your radio page. For any older users of Airtime Pro who haven't been back recently, this is another feature we've added where we provide you with a page to send your listeners to that has your schedule and a web player for them to check out your radio station and find out what time your next show starts. Outside of changing the colors to match the new UI, the calendar page remains the same. If you click New Show, your new show window will open as you would expect. One of the changes that we've made recently is you're able to select now as a start time. So if you log into Airtime and you realize that you don't have anything scheduled, you can just click on the calendar and click now so it'll start immediately and then you'll be able to get your station up and running. Those are all the major changes to workflow with the new Airtime Pro UI. I'm not going to cover the widget setting, analytics, billing, or help menu because the only major changes there are color scheme to match the rest of the Airtime UI. Thank you so much for watching. Please like the video if you liked what I put together and you'd like to see more videos about changes in airtime. Subscribe to our channel to receive updates about Source Fabric, airtime training videos, tips and tutorials. And comment if you have any questions about anything or if you just want to let me know what you'd like to see more of. Thank you very much.